How did you do that? Do what? You moved like they do. I've never seen anyone move that fast. Benjamin Whitaker is a must-see talent in the world of boxing. The former Olympic silver medalist boasts an undefeated 8-0 record and moves inside the ring like Neo from The Matrix. Known as the Surgeon, his moniker isn't just for his pinpoint accuracy, but for the clinical precision he delivers with every strike. His flashy style and audacious antics may frustrate opponents and referees, but there's no denying his skill. With an aggressive fighting style and the elusiveness of a shadow, Whitaker is a formidable threat, much like the legendary lightweight Pernell Whitaker, and his footwork and showboating remind us of the flamboyant Prince Nassim Hamid. In today's video, we'll explore two key aspects of the surgeon's style that make him so dangerous, his impeccable technique and mesmerizing movement. This is DBD Fight Club, welcome back. Whitaker is a tall and rangy, orthodox boxer who I would describe as an elusive stick and move fighter and an effective counterpuncher. The focus of his technique is on his lead jab which he uses to gauge distance, set up strikes, and spark his offensive combinations. He relies on his jab to square up to his opponent at the right distance and pokes the fighter to get a reaction out of him. Once his opponent bites, he either continues using the jab to break down his guard or starts hammering down with strikes to the head and torso in quick succession. Whitaker is very efficient in mixing in his combinations of strikes to damage his opponents. Oftentimes, he relies on a 1-2 to start a combination and then mixes body shots to the stomach and the liver, causing his opponents to take a knee or rest on the canvas. One of his most effective strikes is his lead shovel hook, which he can use either in attack or defense, but nonetheless packs enough power to send his opponents tumbling down. The surgeon does a fine job taking his time when fighting. He tends to use those quick combinations to get the ball rolling and slowly weather down the body of his opponents. Patience is a virtue that he definitely embodies, but once he smells blood, Whitaker applies the pressure and launches a barrage of strikes to combat his opponents, leaving them no time to rest or regain their focus. Sometimes Whitaker likes to play games with his opponents by letting his foot off the gas and giving his opponent a chance to bounce back and walk forward, but all he's doing is setting them up for a counterattack. He enjoys drawing his opponents in and countering swiftly, especially with combinations such as a right straight left hook that can shut the lights off his opponents. Despite his young age, Whitaker already boasts a wide arsenal of attacks that are typically seen from more experienced boxers. He follows a stick and move philosophy while also combining his strikes and countering effectively to destroy his opponents, but what makes him truly special is his movement. Arguably the most important aspect of Whitaker's style is his movement. His remarkable footwork, captivating slips, and precise reflexes make him a nightmare to fight against. Some fighters and critics would argue that his fighting style is cocky and disrespectful, but it's nothing boxing fans haven't seen before, especially with the likes of Muhammad Ali, Prince Nassim Hamid, Pernell Whitaker, and Emmanuel Augustus. Ben Whitaker is no different. Just like the boxers mentioned before, they all use their unique movement to frustrate their opponents and gain an advantage over them. Muhammad Ali famously said, float like a butterfly and sting like a bee, and the surgeon follows his words with absolute precision. Ben Whitaker moves around the ring freely, showing off his moves, but constantly pursues his opponents while taking control of the center of the ring. He uses his lead jab to gauge distance between his opponents and to ensure he stays outside their reach as much as possible, allowing him to control the majority of the fight in his favor. He is confident when moving around the ring and his persona makes him tough to read and even harder to hit. Whitaker has a flashy boxing style that resembles some fighters before him. He evades strikes by slipping and rolling while constantly moving his feet and switching stances to defend his opponent's combinations, but to also find new angles to potentially strike back. His reflexes are very impressive as he has such fluidity in his movement, nullifying his opponent's offensive threats and making them miss their target. The surgeon always seems to be one step ahead of his opponents and takes his time to evade their strikes, make them miss, and counter where it hurts most. 
In the midst of such wild movement throughout the ring, he is also very accurate and clinical when striking. Slipping and weaving around his opponent's strikes is fun to watch and all, but he's really waiting for the right opportunity to strike back and chip away at his opponent, or even lay them out cold. His timing and reflexes resemble that of Louisiana boxer Emmanuel Augustus, who is known for having a free fighting style, but remained dangerous throughout his fights. His head movement and effective counter punching is similar to one of the greatest defensive boxers ever named Pernell Whitaker. And his fancy footwork and showboating is not far from Prince Nassim Hamid. And furthermore, his style, speed, and offensive tactics are somewhat comparable to the legend of the sport, Muhammad Ali. I'm aware that some of these remarks come off as a stretch, but it is undeniable that Ben Whitaker is an elusive and skilled boxer that constantly outclasses his opponents. Even with only 8 professional fights, he dances around the ring with such confidence and has proved himself in each of his bouts. Critics and fans always have something to say when it comes to his antics and showboating, but they said the same exact thing about Prince Nassim Hamid, but would then go on to appreciate his style because he was incredibly entertaining. The surgeon has gone undefeated with an 8-0 record with 5 finishes to claim, and even though he might not be some heavy-handed knockout artist, he has the makings of becoming one of the most skilled boxers in the light heavyweight division. The future is very bright for Ben Whitaker, but I believe it's time to step up the competition and put the surgeon through tougher tests. What do you guys think about the surgeon Ben Whitaker? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This is DBD Fight Club, and we'll see you next time.